So Newton's first law states that a body will stay at rest or remain at a constant velocity unless a resultant force acts on the body. Okay, now what does that mean? So let's say we have this body, this particle, okay, and if there are no forces being applied to it, it will remain precisely where it is, or it could have some constant velocity, okay? It could just be um, floating through space, okay, um, at a constant velocity, no acceleration, it's not getting any faster, okay? Because in order for, some, for it to get faster, to accelerate, or to slow it down, something must uh, either propel it forward to speed it up or to stop it from progressing so fast to slow it down, okay? So you've either got this air resistance, perhaps, or this friction that's stopping it from moving through the air, or you have something else, or you could have wind pushing it along, okay? Um, in the absence of this, the particle will either remain stationary or will continue travelling at a constant velocity. Okay? So, where it's saying that a body will stay at rest or remain at constant velocity unless a resultant force acts on the body, okay, that resultant force is that um, air resistance, for example like working against it as it goes that way, okay, as it travels through the air. Um, but if I had, uh, if I was pulling the particle along, okay, with a force of 5 newtons, then what you would have is that I'm trying to pull the particle along at 5 newtons, but this wind is pulling it back, okay, pushing it back, and so the particle will remain stationary. So the resultant vector here, the resultant force, would be zero. So there would be zero resultant force. The moment that this is, let's say, six newtons, okay, there is a greater force uh, pulling it to the right. And now it has a resultant force of one newton. Okay, positive one newton, because we'll take that as the positive direction. And subsequently, because there is a non-zero resultant force, this particle will accelerate. Okay, it won't remain at its constant velocity, it will continue to accelerate. Because remember, um, what we're dealing with here are, um, as, it, as Newton's law says, we are dealing with this acceleration. It's going to be pulling it along, OK? So this is Newton's first law, the first thing that you really need to get your head around, OK? Um, now, where this kind of uh, problem comes up, it's more a case of um, understanding for very basic mechanics problems uh, what the resultant force actually implies for what's going to happen to the particle. Okay, That's really what you need to understand here. More often than not, we're going to be utilising uh, Newton's second and third laws. Okay, This is the first law that you just need to get your head around.